everybody. Happy Wednesday to you or whatever day it is that you've uh, chosen to check out this video. Uh, I just wanted to touch base a little bit. We've been working through Colossians. If you've been around here on a Sunday or watching online, you know that or heard these devos. Um, just want to touch base with something that we talked about on Sunday uh, this past week. As, we, as you know, if you were here or saw, we spent a lot of time talking about what life is like once I become a Christian. What happens to me once I become a Christian is, is kind of the theme of what we talked about last week. And, and just Paul writes to the Colossian church, and really the same things would be said to us, that we need to put to death the things of our former self doesn't mean that we stop sinning altogether or that we're even able to, but it does mean that we're aware of and that we ask for the Spirit to, to guide us and to, to show us how not to do some of these things that cause pain and hurt and anxiety among human beings, the way that we hurt one another, the way that we get hurt, the way that we hurt ourselves, all of those things. And so uh, one of the things that came up uh, later in the text last week that we didn't spend as much time on is the value of words. Paul goes into it. Uh, he says, you must rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Then he says, do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with his practices. And Sunday, I just gave you the simple two-word phrase that words matter. I want to expand on that just a little bit today, not long, because I want it to be short and sweet today. So I looked up some quotes. There's obviously lots of great proverbs, but a quote that really stuck out to me, and, and the author of it is unknown, uh, but it says this, the tongue has no bones, but is strong enough to break a heart. Hmm. Be careful with your words. Paul seems to be saying something similar. Be careful with how we respond in anger, in rage. Be careful of the things that we say. Gossip and, and slander and filthy language and lies. They hurt other people. Let's flip it a little bit. Have any of you ever been hurt by someone else's words? I think I know the answer. Even have you been hurt by somebody in this body, in the faith church family? My guess would be probably yes. Maybe you've been the victim of harsh words or critical words or overly critical anyway. Maybe you've been the, a victim of gossip or lies told you about you, slandering your name, etc. We need to know what that feels like and be reminded of that then as we're tempted to do that as well. It To me... Watching our tongue, guarding our tongue, shows our faith, but it also shows one of the key things that Jesus describes to us, that we are to love one another as we love ourselves. The golden rule, treat other people the way you would want to be treated. Those are things that really get played out in the way that we talk to and about others. So be aware. Uh, don't ignore the promptings of the Spirit when you're tempted to say something critical or harsh, when you're tempted to gossip or share something that really is diminishing someone else's character and really building up yours, even though we don't always see it uh, that way. That's mostly what happens when we gossip. Don't ignore those promptings then of the Spirit that says, stop, stop, and then stop. And then what I would, I'll, the last thing I'll say is hold other people around us, as a church family especially, as those of us who are, are believers, we need to hold one another accountable when these things happen. We need to be able to be willing to say, no, that, that's not who you are. And no, that, that hurt so-and-so. If they were here, would, they have, would you have said that same thing? And then invite them to do the same to you. That's how we grow together. That's how we live into the new us that Christ is making us to be by the power of the Holy Spirit. All right, that's it. I wanted to keep it there. Uh, be careful this week. Let's be aware of the words that we speak. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see many of you this weekend.